feeling? Good. We gonna play? Good. Um, what, what, how do you feel like this locker room is feeling right now? It seems like all the guys are energized. I mean, obviously it's a new season, because it's postseason. But do you feel like it's, it's a different feeling here? Yeah, I think uh, you know we've been we've been winning games, uh, playing at a high level, stacking. Uh, good performances. And I think that's just uh, what you're feeling is a, is a result of that. Obviously, it's frustrating to not have TJ, but you coming back, JC coming back. What kind of position is this defense in hitting the postseason in a year where you guys have been pretty banged up? Um, you know, obviously, we're, we're upset. TJ's not out there with us, but. Um, you know, we still got a job to do, and uh, you know, having having uh, most of our pieces back uh, is big for us. You know, we get to do more, get to be more fluid, have chemistry. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I think we're in, we're in a good place. How close are you to being able to play last week? And if the weather had been good, would you have tried to go out there and test it against Baltimore? Um, no, it didn't have anything to do with the weather. I, I wasn't I wasn't 110, and they 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 kind of made the decision to. To sit me down, you know, it's, it's a knee. You don't want to go out there and make it ten times worse. So, um, I think I could have played. You know what I'm saying? I always think that. Um, but you know, they made an executive decision to, to sit me down. Do you feel like you're one ten now? Yeah, I feel, I feel good. Speaking of players, to, how big of an impact will that have on this game for you guys? I mean, some people are saying it could be a foot of snow out there on Saturday. I mean, do you like playing in that kind of stuff? It don't matter. We got the job to do either way, whether it's rainbows and sunshine or, or blizzard. When it comes to Josh Allen, just what challenges does he pose? Not only the way he can attack through the air, but on the ground as well. Um, you know, Josh Allen is Josh Allen for a reason. Um, you know, he has a cannon for an arm. Um, but like you said, he can, he can make a lot of plays with his feet. And every time we play him, you know, uh, it's, it's always a challenge. He's a big guy. Uh, he can move. He has good feet. Um, you know, he's a competitor. So he's always going to be making the extra effort. He's not like most quarterbacks that. Um, that will see you coming and, and, and take and, and slide. He will lower his shoulder or try to make you miss a pump fake or something like that. So, uh, you know, he's, he's a great quarterback. Um, and he presents a lot of challenges. Um, so, yeah. What do you, you notice on about the team what? here that's won one of these yet? Is that uh, oh, no. at all a factor in uh, what you're thinking about this week? It doesn't, doesn't change what we got to do. What do you notice about what they've done better offensively as they've gotten right here in the last third of the season? Um, I think they, their running game really picked up. Uh, they started using four uh, a lot more. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's using him out the backfield and uh, or catching out the backfield and running uh, the ball. Um, and that kind of allows Josh Allen to uh, get a lot more single high coverage rather than two high coverages. It allows uh, a lot more one on ones on the outside. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I know. Davis was the guy who really hurt you guys in that last game. Uh, he's banged up, and to the previous question, the elements might pack in their deep game a little. How do you expect them to adjust given those two variables? I still expect them to throw the ball. You know, I think uh, the deep ball is a big part of their game. Uh, it's a big part of what they do. You know, they have guys like Gabe Davis uh, out there to, to to catch the deep ball. Um, so you know, I think they're, they're definitely gonna try. You know, Josh Allen, like I said, has a, has a strong arm who can cut through the wind or, or cut through the weather. Uh, and they play up there all the time in bad weather. So um, you know, it's definitely still gonna be a part of that, part of that game. How make that a Kincaid to Knox change what they can do with their tight end? Um, they're two versatile guys. Uh, they're guys that can catch the ball. Uh, they got good uh, run after catch, um, and, and they're interchangeable. They 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 could put them at one, two, three, at the Y, at the U position, and, and they could do a lot. Mega, how did Pat beat the safety do? And what does him playing there and seeing Eric Rowe do for your guys' options in the secondary? Uh, Pat did a lot of good things. Um, you know, it's it's kind of it's rare for a guy to to make that move uh, late in the career, late in the season. Uh, but he did a really good job just communicating at a high level. He was in the right position. Um, and then, yeah, they definitely gave us a good look at Eric Rowe uh, to see what he could do. And he, he did a great job as well. Nick, any any reaction to Coach Seven retiring? Yeah, I was shocked, man. That, that, that threw me off. Uh, I knew he bought that house uh, down in Florida last year. So that was kind of a hint, I guess. But definitely, definitely threw me off. What was How weird like is it going to be to not see Nick Saban coaching Alabama it'll, next year? It'll be weird. It'll be weird. I'm 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 excited to see who they uh, who they uh, who they hire. Megan, what's he like? For as, them? What's he like as a head coach? What was Saban like as a head coach? Um, I mean, he was a great coach. He was hard on us. He was tough on us. But 
Uh, it was because he, he knew what that was going to get us. Anybody would like to see you take over at Alabama that you've worked with? Uh, I don't even know. I you know how much you like to get offering suggestions to the defensive staff? Is that 20 years from now, are we going to be seeing you defeat Patrick down there in the Tuscaloosa? I don't know. I've given a, a lot of time to this game. So once, once I retire and I'm done with it, I'll uh, make a decision. Have you reached out to Saban or plan to at all? Oh uh, yeah, I plan to. Yeah. Najee, you've been running really well in the last couple games. What do you think is kind of the key to you having this late season surge? Um, I think it's not just me. I think it's just more of everybody. You know, we all are um, kind of molding together at the right time. <clears throat> so I think that's what it is. You pride yourself in being a cold weather runner. <laughs> I've tried to be all type of runner. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to phase you at all when it's snowy and rainy. No, I think that <clears throat> when it's those type of days, I think that you know I know what type of day it's going to be. So um, I kind of mentally prepare myself for that that type of day. What's the worst weather game you've ever played in? Can you remember? Yeah, probably the Ra the Raiders or Ravens these past two ones. I'm California, so like I, we don't really have that. Uh, I put thing in Seattle. I play like in some hell, but that was that was nice. How much does it help you coming off a game where you guys were playing in about the worst weather you've ever seen going into this one, where it could be another rough weather game? Uh, it's nothing, nothing. I think we all come from different backgrounds, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure all these guys experienced some type of game in their career where they it was it was like how it was Baltimore or uh, like how it's going to be now. So it's not a factor. That's us being even in Pittsburgh. Um, it, it gets it gets cold here, um, so it's not nothing like it's not nothing new to us. Um, we're prepared for that. Um, you know, we're, we're we're happy to even be in those type of environments because you know it it, it kind of separates from the guys who wants really wants it. And uh, you know, um, this is a mentality thing. So you know, we're excited for the this weekend an opportunity that we have. What do you see from the Bills' defense? Oh, they're good. They do a really good job taking away the uh, the ball. They uh, their secondary is really good. Um, <clears throat> the backers is, is good. They're, they're, the guys up front. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Who, I thought I thought somebody got hurt in Miami. I don't know. I gotta do my. It's been a long week. But um, you know, they they, they do a good job of, of playing together. Um, so you know, it's just something that we have to 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 um, I guess just be prepared for. They do a good job taking the ball away. So ball security is gonna be important, especially not only that, but just in the conditions that we're gonna be playing in. Um, so, be a highlight of that. So. Your second playoff game. Take anything away from last time? Win. Wait, you, you, yesterday when you were driving around with Boykin and those guys, you said, oh, that was a landing. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't E Rob. I'm sort of curious. Is there an E Rob? And is, I mean, is that like the guy you are on the field? Yeah. It, how would you describe that guy? I don't know. I don't know how to describe him. Because I got to be, I gotta be landing at home, man, with kids. <laughs> I turn it off once I walk in the door. Is that a process of in the, getting a card and the metamorphosis begins again? A card on the drive home. Mm, it's, like it's like a it's like a thirty minute drive, so I got time to like decompress and, and chill out <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, but now I just I just be playing with my guy. <laughs> when did you kind of get that E Rob persona on the field? Is that something you've always had, like college, high school, or is that like developed it in New England? Carry it over here now. I just think at a young age, you got to kind of know when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Uh, it's probably cut off a little bit more now since having my little ones and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, just just the competitiveness, the uh, the lock, like, you know, you can kind of tell when I kind of lock in and change personalities and stuff like that. I think it come with it, but, you know, having a, a wife and kids and stuff like that, you can't always come home with that <laughs> mentality. Yeah, so. You were talking about the, oh, good, Jeff. What are you fighting through? Like, what kind of pain are you fighting through to be playing right now? I'm, I'm just, man, everybody got bumps and bruises. You know, it's just another bump and maybe a bruise. <laughs> but do you, do you feel like those guys, like, they respect what you're doing? Like, you're showing leadership by, by fighting through this and being out there with your guys? Um, you know, I feel like any any guy in my um, in my type of situation, you know, being able to uh, uh, go 
would, would, would do the same thing I'm doing. Um, I don't want to take anything away from other guys that's uh, in this league and stuff like that. But, you know, me, just my mentality, if, I, if, if I'm able to battle back for my team, then I'm playing. It's, 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 it's just my mentality in the discussion, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's no question, you know. If y'all see me pop up on the injury report, y'all just put he playing. <laughs> you were talking yesterday about the game in Buffalo last year. What have you maybe shared with some of the younger guys that don't have your playoff experience about what the postseason is like in general, maybe specifically what you're expecting in Buffalo? I did play him in a wild card last year. Because, uh, I mean, I played him so many times in my career. But, uh, man, you know, when it comes down to the playoffs, don't don't get me wrong, man. This what you this what you start, you know what I'm saying, way back in OTAs for to be able to make a playoff push. But at the end of the day, uh, your mentality going into these games can't change. You, you need the same mentality, you need the same approach. Whatever's been your routine that you've been doing week in and week out has to stay the same. Don't think you have to be more than what you need to be, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. Because sometimes, you know, uh, that can kind of mess up guys. And, you know, for the, I was, I was a younger guy that, that played in uh, big games at a, at a, at a younger age. And, you know, if I can talk to my younger self, it'll be like, hey, man, keep your same routine, stay dialed in. Yes, the game is bigger. That just means you don't need to make no bonehead mistakes, you know what I'm saying? But with doing that, that means just playing within the defense, playing with a lot of confidence, and just know the guy next to you got your back. Have you seen Buffalo be you know, more emphasis on the running game this year as opposed to the past? And what has made them so? Yeah, most definitely. I think, I think uh, you know, just, just being able to just playing against them for the last seven years, uh, they're, they're, I feel like they they definitely honed in uh, on the run game. Uh, I think uh, Cook is doing a great job in the run game. I think when uh, Leonard and uh, uh, Two Eight come in, he's doing a good job in the run game and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, obviously Josh. You know, Josh Allen is big in that run game too. You can't forget him. Quarterback mobility is a is a huge thing. What's allowed Cook to evolve as a runner? <coughs> What's the biggest thing about Cook? What's he been able to do to evolve as a runner? I think he just stands within himself. I mean, he's a second year guy. His first year, you know, you could tell he's uh, learned. Uh, came, you know, uh, into the offense as himself, but he still is a, he still is in his year too, and I think he's a, had done a great job with that one. What gives you confidence that Marcus and Nick can step in, and obviously they're not TJ, but what gives you confidence that you guys can use them as a lift in this game? Because I'm, I mean, I, I go against them. And pra- I mean, I go against them, but I, they're right next to us every day. You know, uh, I don't think you can go up to anybody in this locker room and, and think that they're blinking because of Marcus Golden and, and Nick is about to get, you know what I'm saying, their opportunity. Don't get me wrong, like we are not taking anything away from TJ. But I think even with TJ leadership, he would want us to have full confidence in them guys. Well, Landon, you said last week, I think, I cherish every guy in this locker room. Mm-hmm. Why? What, what is it about this place that has you feeling about it? I mean, we feel? just, we are down the defensive player of the year this week in this game. The defensive player of the year. The defensive player of this year should be, quote me on that, of the year is out this game. And I, I have full confidence in Marcus Golden and Nick to do their job and, and do it very well. And that, that's what I meant by it. You know, I, I cherish them all because I expect you, just like they expect me, to be ready for each opportunity we get out there.